Hi, I'm Jess. I'm Maggie. I'm Maddie. I'm Charles. And this is our shark attack presentation. Um, we gather data on shark attacks um, all over the world with a lot of different metrics. So I hope you enjoy our presentation. So this first visual is a map. And as you can see, the United States, Southern Africa, and Australia by, by far have the most attacks by country. Uh, the United States takes the lead at 2,310, South Africa at 585, and Australia at 1,374. Um, and this is including every country in the world. Uh, there are some smaller ones that are a little bit prevalent still. Brazil has about 113, the Bahamas 115, Mexico 95, and New Guinea is about 135, and New Zealand also 135. Um, these are some of the larger prevalent countries where you frequently see shark attacks throughout the year. So next we looked at fatal shark attacks along with shark attacks, whether they were fatal or not fatal. And so in the top graph, you can see that we only looked at the fatal ones, and we looked from 2000 to 2020. And in 2000, they had the most attacks that became fatal at 18, and the least was around 2020 with just two. And as you can see, it's kind of fluctuated between the years. Next, we looked at the most frequent, along with which species were involved, and it showed that the species that was 1.2 meters in a four-inch shark had 28, which was the least along with, or second least, along with the five inch shark, which was 27 fatals, or non fatals. And then gray whites had the most with 116, and this was split between non fatal and fatal. Next, we wanted to evaluate the frequency of uh, the injuries occurring. And from these uh, bubbles, we can clearly see that 2017 was one of the most bitten, most frequent, and the max amount, number of injury was the tallest of bitten. Um, we can see that 2020, not surprisingly, had the least amount of injuries, with the most common being the right leg bitten. Uh, we can also see that the upper left thigh bitten was the most common injury in 2012, and an unknown but survived was uh, the max injury of 2013. The last visualization we're gonna look at is a uh, scatter chart representing the frequency of injuries uh, by type. Um, so as you can see here, starting at the bottom, uh, the boating attack, uh, individuals getting attacked on a boat is the lowest frequency um, of shark attacks. Um, and then we can go up and see another boating incident. Uh, as the dots get larger, representing that more shark attacks have occurred due to this uh, event, you can see that unprovoked uh, shark attacks are the number one cause of injuries, whether fatal or unfatal. Um, and as you can see as well, the United States uh, leads the world in these unprovoked shark attacks, uh, resulting in injuries, fatal uh, and not fatal, uh, followed by Australia um, globally. Through our analysis of the data, we were able to establish that the United States, South Africa, and Australia were by, by far the highest frequency of shark attacks. Uh, we also were able to see that the highest injuries were in current years were unprovoked shark attacks and also wounds to the leg. And the types of sharks that were most commonly involved in these attacks were great white sharks followed by tiger sharks. Uh, throughout this project, we had the opportunity to work with Tableau um, as a new dashboard that we're learning. Um, 
but while we worked with this and tried to learn all the different features, there definitely were some challenges. Um, in particular, it took us a while to uh, manipulate the data in a way to create a scatter plot chart. Uh, we wanted to include it because I feel like we've spent a lot of time on it in class, and I think it's a really good way to show data. Um, but overall, we felt that using this dashboard was something that would be extremely useful going forward and um, was great practice. So I hope you guys enjoy.